building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. <laughs> Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Costa Rica versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession and then counter-attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And they kick off here. Thomas Müller. Leroy Zane. Promising move from Germany. Gnabry. On to Müller. Putting his body on the line. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, the 2018 World Cup was a bit of a horror show from a German point of view. They didn't fare an awful lot better at the last European Championship, but many believe the time is now for this crop of players under Hansi Flick. How do you see it? Well, I think they are an interesting side. I've seen them play well and look like world beaters. I've also seen them look a very ordinary team. Mind you, being a Bundesliga coverer, Derek, you should want them to win, shouldn't you? Well, I'm always unbiased, but I do like to follow their fortunes. Let's just put it that way. Campbell. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Sané. It needs an accurate cross. Kimi. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Who can he pick out? Pressure on to clear his lines. Unable to keep the ball. 
Kimmich. Now with Zane. Just made sure nothing came about. Jason Torres. Good tackle. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, if the form book has its say, every reason to believe Thomas Müller will make a big impact here, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And clears his lines. Waston. Yeltsin Tejeda. Still passing it around with authority. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Giving the ball away. Serge Gnabry. Hoffman. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Has the strength to hang on to it. The high press was very much on. Big chance! A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Yeltsin Tejeda. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Options in the middle. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Müller. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Kimmy. Now with Hoffman. Return to Gnabry. Kimmy. Defensive excellence there. Celso Borges. Campbell on the ball. And Borges with it. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. And short it is. Decent position. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And that's sound goalkeeping. Last man back, and job done. Serge Gnabry. Werner with it now. Now with Kimmich. Hoffman. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Thomas Müller. Goretzka has it now. Müller. 
Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Serge Gnabry. Goretzka. Oh, super piece of play. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Kimmich. Able to get a body in the way. Corner kick to Germany as they go looking for more. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what all the fuss was about. It wasn't even close in the end. <laughs> Corner kick played in. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, Leroy Zane, as usual, Stuart, razor sharp, very productive. He's been brilliant to watch. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Kimmy. Can he put them in front? a wonderful chance but the goalkeeper comes through yes Derek we have to give credit to the keeper has the strength to hang on to it the high press was very much on big chance a goal the opening statement of the match a richly deserved lead and now they can this could be the equaliser but oh what an important save how about that well at least he hit the target but he should really beat the keeper from there so the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Werner, and in with a real chance. Oh, it's off the post. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Well, a game of such fine margins, but let's see if they can create another opportunity. Sané, can they convert? Kimi. Oh, fine play. Muda's in behind. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Hoffman. Return to Gnabry. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Fuller. Sané. How about the cross? Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Very quick thinking there. Werner. Superb block. And Germany regaining possession. Goretzka. Decent position for Germany to be in. It's a weighted pass. Sané. Muda. And it's come off the keeper. Kimi. He's found the back of the net. Leroy Sané. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So 
back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Celso Borges. Kaiser Fuller. And getting the ball forward. Crossing into the middle. Run of the mill, really, for Neuer. Well, the stats confirm that Germany have had the lion's share of possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. And on with the action. Germany really beginning to flex their muscles. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. De Heda. Not the pass he had in mind. Thomas Müller. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Serge Gnabry. This is Müller. And the cross smuggled away. 15 minutes left for play. Kaiser Fuller. Running with the ball confidently. Marvellous anticipation. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. but he didn't show it a goal from the spot well as you can see the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him it's a strange one in the end won the current scoreline here Rudiger now with Kimmich Leon Goretzka and Kimmich Gozens on to Werner Goretzka, now Kimi, Timo Werner, nicely saved. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? They favoured a short one here. Gundogan. Here's Goretzka. Boys. 
Now Kimmy. Gundogan. On to Gnabry. And back to Goretzka. Gundogan. And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. Bad pass. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Can he get one back? Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Well, able to close down the short. And the final whistle, the big story here, Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Leroy Zane, I think, will be happy with the way he contributed. Sum up his performance for us. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is. Has the strength to hang on to it. The high press was very much on. Big chance! A goal! The opening statement of the match, a richly deserved lead, and now they can... This could be the equaliser, but oh, what an important save, how about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. Kimmich, he's found the back of the net, Leroy Sané. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. And slot at home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Trying to pick out a teammate. Fantastic effort, he made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it.